I love, I love strippers. I love them. My life is so much better because of strippers. If I didn't have strippers, I would just, I don't know, I, I wouldn't be able to get the job done, you know? I wouldn't be me if I didn't have strippers. So there's the kind of strippers that you gotta be real heavy handed with, like, like hardcore, because it's just, they ain't gonna work the way that they need to if you are not tough about it, right? And then you got the type of strippers that are just loose and like not on point, you know, not, not performing the way that they should be performing. And that's probably your most common type of strippers, to be honest with you. And then you got your old school strippers and they just work great, but you really gotta know how to use them and it just takes more work. So let's talk about strippers. <laughs> I don't know if you guessed it, but clearly I am not talking about dancers. I am talking about wire strippers. So this is the battle of the wire strippers. What's up guys, I'm Chris and you are watching Fly Ride where I'm gonna talk about the what, how, and why of custom lighting. So right now, clearly I'm not talking about women. I was talking about some boring tools, but it is of value to you because I want you to be able to avoid some of the mistakes I've made. And specifically right now, I just wanna show you the differences between these three different types of strippers. Just today, I had to make a bunch of these ghost sequencers up and I'm going to cut and strip a ton of wires. So I figured, why don't I just show you the multiple different types of wire strippers that I have. I'll tell you the pros and the cons about them and I will give you some links for all of them. All right, let's just jump right into it. This is those heavy handed strippers. I did actually try to teach my nine-year-old boy how to use these things and he just struggled because it was kind of hard So let me show you what it looks like. I'm stripping one side a little longer than the other There's an adjustment dial on the back of this bad boy It allows you to set how hard it's gonna bite on the actual wire itself This is another type of automatic stripper. This one is really easy to get kind of just out of alignment. It will strip a bunch of wires properly and then if it's misaligned, it'll actually rip a lot of the wires out. There's a couple things here, these little screws, they drive me nuts. You gotta constantly monitor, make sure everything's tightened up but not too tight otherwise it won't work. I'm honestly just not super stoked on them at this point in the game. Maybe these are better for beginners. I personally think that if you're gonna go with something that you wanna be easy that's automatic, this thing is pretty legit. So this is what I would recommend right now if you don't wanna just do the full manual setup. The other thing that sucks about this type is we've got a bunch of different numbers on here. So we've got 22 gauge, which I know that is like way too small. It'll actually take a grip of the metal with it if you strip 22 gauge with that. Then we've got, looks like eight gauge, 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 18 and 20 all listed on here. And the reality is, is like to sit and make sure that that falls in the right slot every time, it doesn't make these super fast. If you strip it with the wrong size, it's either gonna pull some of the shielding, but not enough of it. So it just kind of scrapes the shielding. And then if you set it on a different one, it's actually gonna pull so much of the shielding, it'll bite into the actual metal wires, strip those, can leave little indentions on the wires, which makes them very fragile. So these ones are not strippers that I think you should be spending much time with, especially if you're a married man. Now we got our old school boys right here. These are nothing fancy. Pick these up at any Home Depot, anything like that. It's just very basic. They say cut copper only. Okay. We've got ratings on these as well. We've got 20 gauge, 18, 16, 14, 12, and 10. Whatever, nothing cool, nothing special, nothing fancy about these, but guess what? They work every single time. You know, hey, we're just talking about being surrounded by strippers and sometimes people just want to have all kinds of strippers just falling all over themselves, right? I'm going to link all this stuff up below. And if you haven't seen it yet, Amazon actually hooked me up with my own little fly ride shop with all my recommended tools, everything that I use that I purchased from Amazon, I'm able to put it together for you. So if you want to go check out, see what my shop looks like on Amazon, it's just amazon.com slash shop slash fly ride. That will actually help out the channel big time. If you buy anything from Amazon after you've clicked on that link, it's gonna give me a little cut of the action and that's gonna go straight back into the content here. Allow me to make more videos, allow me to make more just how-to content in general. Huge thanks for everybody that's been buying from the Amazon shop. I wanted to make this video specifically to show you a couple of the tools that I do have listed on there. In particular, the automatic stripper that I showed first. I really like that one. I think you should buy it if you are in the market for some new tools. I tried to show my boy, my, my nine-year-old was, was uh, 
hanging out one day and I was I was teaching him this is how you got to use this stripper right here and like <laughs> oh man <laughs> that's bad I can't say it <laughs> oh boy <laughs> yeah see